right, welcome back. It's totally no fun to miss out on the things you love in life, you know, because you got a bum knee. Too often active men and women, they get sidelined uh, side from injury that finally takes its toll. And people worry, though, about taking time off uh, for a full knee replacement. Mm -hmm. But what if we told you a new kind of surgery could have you back at the gym, sometimes the next day, really? and you don't even have to stay overnight at the hospital? Hmm. It's called Makoplasty, and it's being done right here in the greater Hartford area. Sports. I tore the MCL several times, uh, four in each leg probably, and it's just the wear and tear of basketball stopping and turning. It just adds up. Too much fun. Yes, too much fun, <laughs> but I wouldn't change a thing though. But eventually all that fun left 58-year-old Frank Schreiner benched from the sport he loved. The retired Middletown policeman couldn't even get out of bed in the morning. Affecting you even as your work as a policeman. Yeah, you get out of your car and uh, you take like five steps to, to straighten your leg out and not feel any pain. And uh, a couple times in the morning was 20 minutes, you couldn't move, couldn't straighten my leg out. And it just burned, burned almost in tears. That's how much it hurt. Right. Yeah, it wasn't and, fun. And you're kind of a tough guy, so you probably don't cry easy. Well, I was crying. I was <laughs> definitely crying. Frank came here to see Dr. Christopher Lena, the vice president of Orthopedic Associates of Hartford. And he was in luck. Dr. Lena wanted to perform a new kind of partial knee replacement surgery called makoplasty. It's a robotic assisted surgery that's revolutionizing treatment for guys like Frank. If there's something good left, you can now work with it. Absolutely. Arthritis is basically the wearing away of cartilage. As the cartilage wears away, the bones come closer and closer together and you get more pain. That can occur in all compartments or can occur in one compartment. The makoplasty currently is a partial knee replacement. Doing only a partial knee replacement makes it so much easier on the patient. It is much quicker than the total knee replacement. It is in and out, so you're in the center for approximately an hour and a half. Patients that uh, go home and the next day we send a physical therapist out to see them. Uh, one physical therapist went to visit a patient and he was not home he came home he was at the gym and he said don't worry I didn't work out my legs Frank says that's how he felt surgery was uh, on a Wednesday and back in the after the recovery room it was probably about a 40 minute surgery I guess and uh, that night they gave the literature what to do for your exercise and I was doing it that night that night you were already moving exercising and doing it yeah it just worked out so well it's like uh, it was it was weird it was, it was scary weird where it uh, was perfect. His wife was skeptical that it could be that easy. Well, my wife was knew I was recovering too fast. She told me to slow down a couple <laughs> times. But Dr. Lena says that's the great thing about makoplasty. You don't have to slow down. A patient will come here to Orthopedic Associates of Hartford in the Glastonbury Surgery Center and go home that day. We can just minimize the amount of bone we take, only take the portion that is arthritic, uh, get rid of that pain, and get them back to functioning. The pain blocks make the patient comfortable when they leave. The patient's going to lay down right here, yep. and you're going to actually be able to see their knee up on the screen. Correct. And in live time, you're going to be able to go in and just fix, fix the parts that are wrong. Correct. I don't even need to see the bone that I'm removing because I'm going to be removing off the screen. So this is the robotic arm that we use to do all the bone removal. So this is the only device we use to remove the bone. Okay. Uh, and so as we use it, it's usually going to be a hand control, but this is here. And so I move the arm back and forth, uh, and it actually prevents me from going too deep. So it will protect me from doing something that's outside the plan. Wow, so you, it makes the surgery is that much safer? It makes it safer. More so accurate. More accurate. Frank's recovery has been great. So just to make sure the extension is full, flexion all the way. He's ready to go dancing, I think. Yeah, I think so. Soon he'll play basketball again, too, but he's already back to enjoying life. Well, I walk a lot. I walk quite often. I work out like four or five days a week, and uh, walking just, it's, it's fun. I, I speed walk and try to keep things moving. Who is ideal for this? Uh, the ideal patient would be a young, healthy, active individual who happened to have a meniscus tear at an early age. Uh, with the lack of a meniscus, they end up wearing the cartilage out, and so the bone comes closer together and they get severe arthritis. But the rest of the knee is fine. So we're doing a bone-preserving operation, only replacing the part that needs to be replaced uh, and saving the total knee replacement for the future. And by the way, it's not just knees they're replacing here. Dr. Lena says outpatient surgery is the wave of the future, and he's already done a few total shoulder replacements too. Uh, we're doing bone sparing operations to remove the remove the arthritis and replace the shoulder and once again because of the expiral and the good blocks that we have we can do them at the outpatient setting and they can go home and, and be relatively pain free. So you could get your total shoulder replaced and go home that day? Yes. People listening and thinking this could be an option what would you say? I would say get it done.
Mm. As simple. Dr. Alina says Orthopedic Associates of Hartford is the only outpatient center with the Mako right now here in Connecticut, so check it out. Yeah, if you want to learn more, go to uh, OAHCT.com. We will have a link on our site as well. And coming up tomorrow on Better Connecticut.